here we have a live video feed of a counter timer tack module. Here's my pen just so you can see something move. The inputs on this module are being driven by a USB board connected to this computer. Each time we hit this button, the I.O. module toggles the input to this counter. You can see the pulse here on the graph and you can see the count increment each time we press the button. Here's a couple more pulses. Our set point is 5, so when we issue the fifth pulse, we see these output indicators light up and we see the outputs change on the graph. All of these signals go low because output 1 has an MPN or syncing output and an SPST relay output. Output 2 has an MPN syncing output because we're using this model of the counter timer tack with an MPN output. You can also get it with a relay output and you can get both of those in a DC model. We're currently using the AC version right here. You set the set point by moving the cursor with this yellow button. Unfortunately, you can't see the cursor blinking right now because of the webcam. And then you change the value using these buttons right here. Let's change ours to 8. We lock that in by hitting the mode button and we're ready to go. The counter can operate in a number of different modes. This one is in mode F right now, which looks like this right here. The counter counts up. When it hits the set point, both outputs toggle. The counter continues to count up until a reset is issued, which resets the counter and the outputs. Let's issue a reset. You can see the pulse here. The outputs went back high and the counter cleared to zero. We issue some more pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The outputs go active, but the counter continues to count up until we get a reset. What if we wanted to have the counter automatically reset when the set point is reached and not wait for a reset? Well, that's easy. We just go back to the data sheet. We were in mode F, this guy right here, and we scroll down through until we find one where the counter counts up and automatically resets when it hits a set point. It's not that one. Oh, this looks good. Here the counter counts up and automatically resets each time it hits a set point. That's mode C. Well, all we do is go back over here to our counter module, hold down the mode button for three seconds to put us in the configuration mode, and then use the mode button to cycle through the various functions. We're in counter mode, stage one, up counting, and here's our mode F. To change that, we just hit our button, go to mode C, lock it in by hitting the mode button, now hold the mode button down for three seconds to get back to normal operation and we're ready to go. Let's see what happens. So again, we're in mode C now, not mode F. It should count up and automatically reset when it hits a set point. So we hit eight pulses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It automatically resets to zero, counts over again, and toggles the outputs, which you can see on the graph here. Well, that's all there is to using the up counter function. All of the other counter modes are just variants of this, so experiment with them and see which one best fits your application. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.